Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jordan's Track a Lock videos. Um, this will be kind of just a few minute video here. I'm going to walk around the showgrounds around here and just kind of show you guys a few things. Um, I'm at this tractor show in Baraboo, Wisconsin. This is the 57th annual Badger Steam and Gas Show. I've been here since Thursday and I just wanted to show you some tractors that I brought, some different stuff here. Um, this weekend I picked up this vintage chainsaw. This is a Clinton chainsaw. I believe it's a three and a half horse. I believe it's got about a 16 inch bar on it. Uh, that's my home light chainsaw. This one I believe is an 18 inch bar. This is a full rack around. It has a gear case, oiler. This one here is another home light chainsaw I purchased. I've had these all a while. The only one I purchased this weekend was the Clinton. This is a David Bradley. It's a 24 or 28 inch saw, I believe. That's a 20 inch and this thing sticks out past it. They both need work. This is not a David Bradley that I have. This one come out of a hayfield. This is my Sears and Robot that I've done some work to. I gotta do some more work to it when I get home. That's straight pipe. It's uh, the head was off it. I shaved the head down twenty thousandths. It's got a different spark plug into it, an HKG racing plug. That's a home light I picked up from a guy I know. This is the girlfriend's tracker, the Alexis is Dark Angel. Fully ground up restoration, one off decals. I'll do some more videos of this one soon. I gotta change off the engine. I'm having problems with it. That'll be a separate video. This is the Wheel Horse 664 654 that is on YouTube. This is the one that, uh, that right there had to get glued in the stitches. This thing blew blood for me. This was another one, ground up restoration, sprayed with a rattle can, not rattle can, a spray gun, compressor. This is my 1963 Wheel Horse 702, I believe. It has a 701 hood on it, which is not correct. It should have a hood like that with the cutout for the aluminum gas tank. That is the two-piece gas tank with the cork gas AC leaks on the bottom. I bought this one off Marketplace also a uh, few years back. And here is the RJ that I went to Indiana for when I went, uh, went off to Indiana to DMOC to see Carol's shop and trade my two RJs. Um, I'm having problems right now with the belt. It's all the way down the thing and this is still loose. So I need to find a different size belt for it. And the tire back here is starting to bulge out. I think it broke the bead in the inside. This is my wheel horse 1055. Early short frame with a 10 horse Kohler. Those are 26 12 12 egg tires on the bottom, which do not fit. Barely fit, but they're not made to fit. I have to do some modifications to the seat pan. But the seat pan sits down just like factory still. It's not. It's been raised. You barely would know whatever. See, as you can tell, I hardly opened the pan, but as you can see, what I did is I cut the spot welds and I just raised it up with a washer and a nut and all for it. Still able to lock, which is nice. It's got the original seat pan, and you get a seat for this one. Over here, a friend of mine, Jeff Kelly, this is his tractor, Sears. Another Sears 10XL. 
case, 155, four-wheel drive, all custom made. Sears ST16 with loader on it. This is a Toral Power Pup snowblower I had picked up this weekend. This is my Jacobson 1000 Chief. That runs and drives. I purchased this also off marketplace with the wheel weights on the rear that came with it. Very good shape tractor for its age. This is another one of mine. This is my Gilson 15 horse. It has powder coat hoods on it. Powder coated the hood, powder coated the fenders. Um, the rear wheels were sprayed with the rattle can. The rest was all gun sprayed. The chassis was all sprayed with a gun. I just had recently put the foot tape on it from Menards, the grip tape. Those are custom made decals. These are a two layer decal. This is a, this is all printed off as black to orange. And then this was laid on to this chrome. So normally this chrome here is a black, but I went with the chrome on both decals. This is a uh, Gilson G16. This one's mine also. These are Page uh, Walk Behind Tractors. Here we have some Cub Cadets. There's a Ford LGT 145. I believe that is a hydrostatic, if I'm correct. These are very expensive to restore, they can be. Uh, that front grill is all fiberglass, and the, that's fiberglass also. There's some more garden tractors down there. Alice Chalmers, we have some co-op farm tractors. Yeah, it's kind of a little taste of the show. Like I said, the show was 57th annual. It's been going on for 57 years, and uh, come up here every year. Um, it's in Baraboo, Wisconsin. You guys have not checked it out. Bring the family, the kids. Awesome time. A huge event. Lots of tractors to look at. It's probably. You know, the size of a football field, it's, the swap meet's like 10 football fields. It's huge. You know, a friend of mine's wheel horse collection. Actually going to pick one of these up tomorrow with a mower deck on it. I'll make a video of that. I'll pull set up Friday. So. If you guys haven't checked out my videos, be sure to check them out. Uh, hit, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next in the next video. Thanks for watching.